Hi beauties! So I'm here today to share all of my May favorites with you guys and it's kind of like a mix of all different things uh, for this month. You guys know that I am obsessed with home decor and now that we have a little one on the way I have been decorating the nursery and it's just kind of made my obsession even worse. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with something that I bought for the baby and I can't tell you what the letter stands for because we haven't done our gender reveal video yet. But one of my favorite things currently is galvanized metal. I'm really into it. If you guys watch the show Fixer Upper with Joanna and Chip Gaines, I am so obsessed with that show. They totally like fix up houses and make them super amazing. Um, anyways, so she's a huge fan of galvanized metal, farmhouse style. We're like basically soul sisters, okay? Like that is my exact style to a T. Um, and then recently Michael's Craft Stores started carrying this section called um, Make Market, I think is what it's called. And it's basically like everything that I am completely in love with. Galvanized metal, chalkboards, my exact home decor style. Um, so one of the items that Michael started recently carrying is these big chunky galvanized metal letters so I got the letter C which is for the little baby's room um, because his or her name starts with a C obviously I'm going to be doing DIY shelving in the nursery which we've also done down in our powder room I haven't had a chance to show you guys but it's like restoration hardware inspired and I just know that this little galvanized metal C is gonna be so cute on one of the shelves and really affordable especially if you get the Michaels coupons so that was a definite favorite from this month and then recently I found this phenomenal website where you can make your own photo books and they're totally customizable I love that because I love to get creative kind of like add my own touches to my photo books and photo albums and this is gonna sound really bad you guys because my husband and I have been married for going on six years this fall um, but we never have had like a wedding photo like book. I've printed out wedding photos, we have them framed all over the house, but I didn't have them kind of like my favorites all in one place. Um, so recently I discovered the website Mixbook and I had way, way too much fun on this website, but basically you make your own photo books. <laughs> I loved it. I had a ton of fun making, finally, a wedding album. Um, and so I got mine in the hardcover. You can see I put our initials on there and my favorite picture of us, which is kind of like the sailor's kiss picture. And I also put a picture on the back. And basically, you just create kind of like your own photo scrapbook, which is really fun. So you can just personalize all of the text. They have a ton of stickers and quotes and templates and layouts, and it was really, really easy to use just a couple pages in our book but I was so proud of myself that I finally went forward and did this you guys because I've been putting it off for like way too long but I loved that they just had a ton of different options it made putting everything together super painless so it wasn't as much of a chore for me so I was really happy with how this album turned out just a really awesome website if you're looking to create photo books um, you could do like a wedding, a vacation. Um, when our baby arrives, I'm definitely going to be doing a baby book with newborn photos. So anyways, I'll put the link to their website down below. And also they were generous enough to give me a 50% off coupon code for you guys, which I will also link below. So that is Nick's book, a definite, definite favorite. My next favorite is from Bath & Body Works. This is their White Barn Candle in Beautiful Day. My sister actually got this for me for Mother's Day, which was so sweet. Oh, it is the best smell for spring. Like It is a true, there was just a rain shower on your amazing garden type of scent. Of course, it's lime green, which I love because it looks amazing in my kitchen. So definite favorite scent at Bath & Body Works right now. And then my last little favorite home item um, are these little like sippy tops that I got at Target for all of my mason jars. You guys know I'm mason jar obsessed. They're all that I drink out of. Like keep your beverages so nice and cold and also they're just cute. I feel like it actually makes it taste better. So they fit onto any of your pint sized mason jars um, but they are made by Ball. Basically you just have to have your little um, I don't know what do you call this your little ring thing so don't throw that out and then what it is is just a four pack you get four of these straws and these ones are striped lime green and you also get four of the little tops you just place the top through the straw right on top of the mason jar and then you just slide your 
um, ring on there, screw that down, and now you have a sippy cup that's not going to spill everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they look really cute for summer, um, and it's really affordable for a four pack, like a few dollars at Target. So you can't beat that. So this is a definite favorite for this uh, mason jar addict here. All right, so now I'm going to talk about my favorite makeup products from the month of May. So first, foundation. These are really great foundations for summer. The first one, you guys know, uh, this is like my tried and true. Holy grail. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream, and I'm in the shade Light. And I use this a lot, a lot, like a whole lot. It's really moisturizing and hydrating because even though it is the summer and my skin goes more combo oily, I still need that moisture in my face, especially being out in the sun. This has SPF 50, which is amazing. You can literally go out in this and be a crispy fried lobster from the neck down and your face gets absolutely zero UV rays, which is awesome. Um, so again, very hydrating. It has anti-aging properties, amazing coverage, you guys. And with this pregnancy, I have been a little bit broken out, so coverage is important to me right now. This is a really good one if you're looking for coverage. Um, and then a close second is from Jordana, which is a drugstore brand. This is their Complete Cover Maximum Coverage 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. This is a much drier formula than the CC Cream, so again, if you're more on the oily side, you might want to go for the Jordana Foundation. And this one, I'm in the shade 02 Classic Beige. Again, really great medium to full coverage, um, and it lasts throughout the day, so really loving that. My current favorite concealer, really good for on the go, this is Tarte's Little Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer. I love that it's like a little teeny tiny pen. I'm in the shade Light. Um, I just carry this in my bag with me, and because it's waterproof, it's really great for touch-ups in the summer. Um, so this is what it looks like. Very, very creamy, absolutely full coverage. Um, it works really well under my eyes, it doesn't crease, and it's even better for kind of like blemish touch-ups and things like that. It will just glide on and stay all day. Um, and then for setting powder, also from Tarte, this is their Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder, and I am again in the shade Light. Yeah, it's just a pressed powder, but you get very nice coverage with this powder. Next, my favorite highlighter. It is from Beth Bender Beauty, and you've probably heard of her. She has the amazing eye stencils and eyebrow stencils. I love her cat eye um, stencil that she sells, but this is her Pixie Dust in the shade Champagne. It looks like this. It is the most gorgeous highlighter ever. Perfect for the summer. That's what it looks like. This is what I use to give myself a pregnancy glow because for some reason it just hasn't happened for me yet, okay? I'm still sick. I know everybody talks about how you get this amazing glow and your skin's amazing when you're pregnant, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. All right, so we have to fake a pregnancy glow and this is the best way to do it. Then I have a couple favorite lip products and the first one I'm actually wearing right now on my lips it is a bright, kind of like fiery coral, which I love, and it is Milani's Matte Lipstick in Matte Passion. Looks like this, really, really bright. These last a super long time, and because they're matte, they're not gonna end up like all over your face. Um, just love them, love the smell of them. They're very affordable drugstore um, lipsticks. Can't beat that. Um, my other favorite is kind of like a lighter, more rosy toned coral. It's from Jordana. It's their Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Pretty. So that is what matte pretty looks like. Um, again, it's like a lighter um, peachy toned color. And the last makeup product is also from Jordana. I love Jordana lately. They've been coming up with some really, really good stuff. Um, this is their Dramatic Effects Mascara, obviously in Powerful Plum. It's a really vibrant, fun, dark purple. And if you guys follow me over on Instagram, you saw that I posted the entire lineup of the new Jordana Dramatic Effects Mascara. This stuff comes in pink, light purple, blue, literally every color of the rainbow. So these are just a ton of fun. I highly recommend uh, checking those out. And then to remove all of this makeup, I have been using and loving Pacifica's uh, Natural Skin Care Essential Makeup Removing Wipes. And you can get Pacifica at Target. Um, this one's for all skin types. It has jasmine and coconut water. These are super gentle, and I've really been trying to use more gentle products on my face now that I am pregnant. Um, these are 100% vegan, 
definitely worth the money. I absolutely love them. They do a great job at removing my makeup. Next up is a hair product that I recently discovered that I have been loving. And it's another drugstore fave. This is from Garnier Fructis. It's their new Full and Plush shampoo. And I actually bought this at the grocery store for the smell. Oh, it's like the most fruity goodness ever. It smells just like candy. It's supposed to give you fuller and thicker hair, and I definitely think that it does that, and some. I haven't been to my hairstylist in months. She's probably wondering if I'm still alive, and this stuff has kept my hair really healthy and shiny, um, so absolutely recommend this. Go get it. Pick it up. Um, and then my last couple of favorites are kind of like pregnancy related because obviously that's been my life. I feel like I've been pregnant for five years. I am planning on sharing kind of like pregnancy survival products that I've been loving and using for the last five months. Um, but today I just wanted to share a couple that I have been using ridiculously a lot this past month. Um, and the first one, obviously, my Palmer's Cocoa Butter for stretch marks. This stuff, this is my third bottle and it's almost gone, so I guess I'm going to be on my fourth soon. Um, but one bottle will last you about a month and a half, which is good because it's not super expensive. This stuff is really thick and creamy, but it doesn't end up being greasy throughout the day, which I really like. Um, and I love that it's in a pump bottle, so that has been a favorite. These are Preggy Pop Drops, and you may have heard, I think they have like lollipops as well, but these are just like the little lozenges that you suck on. Um, and I actually had researched online like different things that I could suck on or eat that would help with my morning sickness. And I kind of eat these all throughout the day because they really do work and they're all natural um, ingredients. I've definitely steered away from kind of like the medical morning sickness drugs just because I've heard, you know, so many bad things about side effects and birth defects and I just don't want to risk it. So I will try anything natural before I will try that. Um, and these have been pretty good. I ordered these on Amazon and I got like a whole bunch of them. So I keep these in my purse and I just suck on them throughout the day whenever I feel like I'm getting like a little bit queasy. And they really do help. Oh, and I do have one more favorite. I forgot. I have been absolutely loving, loving, loving these. Um, and these are the Old Navy t-shirt dresses. These are really stretchy and spandexy, which is great because they're not um, a maternity product, but it can double as a maternity dress because it's so stretchy. Um, and so obviously it's a lot more affordable. I paid like $15 um, for the one I'm wearing and $15 for this one. Um, and look how cute the patterns are. Like you cannot be this like Aztec tribal pattern. Um, and this is like just above the knee or just below depending on how tall you are. So plenty long enough. They have plenty of give. Um, and it's just like a little cute t-shirt dress that you can dress up with accessories. This is just like a nautical one and then the bottom has coral striping. But you can see that they're stretchy and that they have some give and obviously enough room for my little bump. So I just love these dresses. So comfortable and lightweight in the summer. So thank you, Old Navy. I just ordered like three or four more that should be here in the next couple of days. So anyways, that is all of my May favorites, you guys. I did um, purchase a ton of home decor over the past few months, but I'm going to be sharing that in a separate home decor haul. And then I also have a nursery decor haul, which I'm going to kind of incorporate into the home decor um, and share that with you guys once we've done our gender reveal video. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to put all of the products that I mentioned down below. Also, come check me out on Instagram. I always link it down below, but I've gotten way more into Instagram lately. I literally post every single day. I'm way more active on there, so if you guys are interested in keeping up with me, updates, that kind of thing, go follow me over there. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, y'all.